Welcome to DX Sudoku training video number 78. In this video, an improved W-Wing search algorithm using Sudoku links will be presented. Consider the following Sudoku in progress. All the by value cells have been highlighted. By value is just a fancy word meaning cells having exactly two possible candidates. A pair of by value cells having the same two possible candidates has been found. Cell 1, 4 and cell 3, 9 both have 1 and 3 as possible candidates. A pair of kill zones has been defined using the possible 1 candidate as shown. The kill zones for a W wing are defined by all the cells sharing a house with both endpoint cells. Next, all the cells having the other number as a possible candidate are now highlighted in purple. The next step is to identify all the either or links for the highlighted candidate which are now shown. Then look for a pair of links connecting the cells from one of the either or links to the two endpoint cells forming a chaining sequence. A W wing pattern was found with an either or link between cell 2, 6 and cell 2, 9. The either or link in the middle of the W wing is the most important piece of the chaining sequence. The either or link acts in the same way as a pivot cell does with an XY wing. Between 2, 6 and cell 1, 4, there is a weak link relationship. And between cell 2, 9 and cell 3, 9, there is a strong link relationship. There can be a weak or strong link connecting the endpoint cells to the either or link in the middle of the W wing. But there must be an either or link between the endpoint cells for a W wing to work. As stated, the kill zone is defined by cells sharing a house with both endpoint cells, shown highlighted in red. There are two sets of weak links between the endpoint cells and the target candidates to kill in the kill zone, as shown. Next, the logic for how the W wing works will be discussed. There are four scenarios to consider for understanding the logic for how the W wing works. All four scenarios revolve around the either or link in the middle of the W wing. First, we have a value of 3 in cell 2, 6. A sequence of chaining logic occurs, and we have a value of 1 in cell 1, 4. All the target candidates are killed. The second scenario is we do not have a value of 3 in cell 2, 6. This results in having a value of 1 in cell 3, 9. Again, all the target candidates are killed. Third, we have a value of 3 in cell 2, 9. This results in having a value of 1 in cell 3, 9. Again, all the target candidates are killed. And fourth, we do not have a value of 3 in cell 2, 9. This results in having a value of 1 in cell 1, 4. Again, all the target candidates are killed. In all four cases, the target candidates in the kill zones are killed, so they are non-possible candidates and can be removed from the puzzle. We remove the non-possible candidates from the puzzle. Notice how the either or link for this W wing occurs within the house making up row 2. When a W wing's either or link occurs within a row, the W wing is labeled as having a row wise orientation. One interesting thing about this example is there were two either or links that could have been used for the W wing with these two endpoints and kill zones. The either or link between cell 1, 2 and cell 3, 2 would have also created a successful W wing pattern. Two quick examples will now follow demonstrating two special cases of the W wing. Consider the following Sudoku in progress. All the by value cells are now highlighted. We find a pair of by value cells having the same two possible candidates. We identify a set of endpoint cells and establish a set of kill zones and target candidates to kill. We highlight all the cells for the other candidate in purple and we identify all the either or links. A W wing was found and is now diagrammed as shown. Since the W wing's either or link occurs within a column, we say it has a column wise orientation. Consider the following Sudoku in progress. All the by value cells are now highlighted. We find a pair of by value cells having the same two possible candidates. We identify a set of endpoint cells and establish a set of kill zones and target candidates to kill. We highlight all the cells for the other candidate in purple and we identify all the either or links. A W wing was found and is now diagrammed as shown. 
Since this W wings either or link occurs within a block, we say it has a blockwise orientation. This completes DXodoku training video number 78. Please support DXodoku. Thank you for watching.